Alright, how's it going beautiful people? Bam, I'm back! <laughs> so some of you have asked me uh, before, how do you package artwork for shipping, right? For, for, well, yeah, right? Well, there's two types of packaging, right? For shipping and for the most common one. And for storage. Uh, I'm, I'm shipping some work right now to, uh, to an art exhibit. And I thought this was a great, uh, once I get this thing to, to obey me. <laughs> uh, shipping some work to an art exhibit right now. And, and I thought maybe one or two of you might uh, be interested in finding out how I ship. Okay. So look. How I do some of my shipping. How I, how I package, right? Obey me, obey me. <laughs> so look guys, this is one of the things that I've learned over, over the many years of experience. If you're shipping somewhere where um, most places, but if, if, if it's not going that far away, I don't create. And here's the reason why. Uh, I create very large works for the most part. And for example, this one I'm driving it because it's just it's just uh, nearby, uh, but 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 it's it's still being shipped, right? <laughs> Packaging it. Uh, I'm renting a, a what are those U-Hauls and I'm and I'm and I'm putting all this work there. Uh, when I ship it to somewhere where I have no control, right? FedEx, UPS, USPS, or whatever, uh, um, any 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 carrier. Uh, you want to be able to to uh, find out if you're like what what is the well you don't find out right but what is the size of the of the work if the size of the work is small you don't need to really create it unless you place this immense value then maybe you know I don't know immense immense depending on what it is to you usually I don't create it one of the reasons why it's because it gets so much more expensive and sometimes the the shipping becomes a quarter of the price of the artwork many times, you know, and or half of the price of the artwork depending if you're if you're if you're creating and shipping freight. So but if it's something like this and I were and I were going to ship it uh to another state, right? Not overseas but to another state, I would put about three ply cardboard. Two to three ply cardboard. Meaning I would sandwich this, this would be your sandwich patty, your ham, and I would Long, sh big sheets, right? But it would be about two or three on each side, like that. It would be sandwiched like this, right? This is how normally it gets shipped. Uh, I like to use paper too, but because this is already framed, um, I don't use paper because sometimes the paper rubs off on the foil, on the metal foil, the gold uh, leaf foil, whatever you want to call it. It rubs off. So this is something, bam, like that. Okay, bear with me, you guys. I'm gonna do another one just for you. Okay, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap, extremely important if you're framing, if you're shipping frames. Oh, where can I find the painting around here? Bam, right here. <laughs> okay, so so this painting is ready. Oh, let's it's ready to. It's gonna be hang somewhere. Right? Ready? Nice floater frame. Face down. Why face down? Because you'll want, if this is going to create ripples, you don't want it on the other side because it will warp your, your canvas. Okay? Look. Enough to blanket it. It might not be, it might not be so much, but enough to blanket it, okay? You want to be able to blanket this thing. This one, I came in a little short, just a little short. <laughs> I usually don't, but when I do, I do this. Bam! I bring this stuff over here. <laughs> so, okay. No biggie. There is no problemo. Which is do something like this. The whole purpose of, sh of packaging, there's two purposes, right? Uh, you want to be able to wrap it so that the collector gets something worth opening, right? Like, you see the wrapping? It's like, whoa, that's really nice. Okay? 
And the second thing, you want to be able to, well, it would be the other way around. You want to be able to protect the artwork first and foremost, and then create a wrapping that, that shows you care. You know, you care for the collector. In this case, I, this is not going to a collector, this is going to a gallery. I'm driving it myself. So, the way I do it is that I care only, really only, about protection. Because I'm the one who's getting it there, giving it to the gallery for them to hang it. So my, my, main, my main purpose here is that it's protected. I'm not, I'm not really, that's why I put a different color uh, wrapper. My wife would have never let me do this <laughs> if I was sending it to a collector. She'd be like, what are you doing? Because she's really good at that. She's, she's very picky about that. And good for her because it's the way it's supposed to be. I'm a bit more, I'm a bit, I'm a bit crazier when it comes to that kind of stuff. I'm like, let's just, let's just do it like this, baby. She's like, no, 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 no. It needs to be well, well wrapped. Okay, here's another thing. I use this, right? Why do I use this? Because I know that it has to be wrapped back and sent back, so I don't tape, okay? Every time you send stuff to a gallery, they will be very happy, I think, I think, I'm almost sure, if you don't tape it. Because taping is a hell of a thing to do. Because they have to open it, they have to open the taping and then tape it back to you. So that's a lot of work. As, as, as if I were a gallery owner, I'd be like, don't do that to me. But I do it for the collectors. I'm sorry, collectors. But the reason why I do it is because you only have to do it once. So I tape everything really well. Everything has to be very well, very sealed, very tight. Okay? So, and it gives the collectors uh, a bit of a mystery. You know, like, oh man, I can't wait to open this, but it's so hard to open. <laughs> but anyways, you guys know what I mean. See? This, again, I will, I will uh, say it again. I am driving this. I am taking this myself. So I am only concerned with safety. Okay? I'm not going to... If my wife would have seen me doing this right now, what I'm doing... Good thing she's not in the studio right now. She'd be like, no, you can't do that. But you know what? It's her little secret. She's not here. <laughs> she's not here so I can do it. I can do what I want. I do what I want. So, here's a bad job, right? Let me show you. It's not a bad job. But I would call it a bad job. Because here, I was storing this. And... And I, I, um, I taped it. And the reason I taped it is because I wanted it sealed tight, right? But, since it's going to that exhibit as well, I hope I'm making some sense, guys. I don't want the collect, I don't want the, 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 the gallery owners or the gallery or the, 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 the curators to be doing this and being frustrated and being like, oh man. I have to do this again when I send it back. Oh my God, no. I want to make it as simple for them as possible. Okay, artists out there, don't make it harder for them. They will appreciate it. They'll probably call you back if you, if you don't make it harder for them. See, this would be a mess for them. They would be like, and, and most people would think, no, it's not, it's part of the, you know, blah, blah, blah. Cool. I get it. You try peeling tape twice. <laughs> And and uh, and on top of that, uh, have very little communication with them, with a gallery owner or, a, or, or an art curator, and see if they call you back. <laughs> uh, and on top of that, don't sell anything. <laughs> now really see if they call you back. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this is what I do here. Look, right, lay it. Bam! Very simple like this, okay? Because I know where it's going. I know, I know, I am taking it. I don't just know where it's going. I am taking it myself. So, protection is really what I care most about right now. Let me put it in the middle. That way you guys can see. Bam! Bam! See? Now what it is that I do here? Very simple, once again. Now, you would think this is not simple, but most galleries 
also have this. Okay? They, remember, they're a business. They're not in their garage. They're not in an art studio somewhere. They're, they're a business. So they, they are prepared. And most of them would just love to do this and just get it over with. Okay? I'm just telling you, I'm giving you a little, a little uh, insight here. Because again, that's the whole point, right? They know they're not, they're not, if, if they get it and open it, right? And they see that it's like a, a nightmare to send it back. Well, they're not going to be, you know, as happy. You want to make me happy. You want to, you know, simple as this. Look, corners are very important, right? But I'm driving this. Again, if I were shipping this in a box and have it shipped somewhere, this would have very reinforced corners. As a matter of fact, it would have some of those... Let me see if I have some right here, because I usually keep cool stuff around town. Where? Oh, where? Oh, where? Can you be? Let me see. Let me show you what I'm talking about, you guys. It would have something like this. Right? Anyways. It would have something like this. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm putting something like that. Sorry, little guy. You are needed. Okay? Even though I'm driving this, I'm still doing it. Because I care about the artwork. Check it out, you guys. Bam! Now, now this, they can relate to, you know? If you have something like this and you're in, and it's, I don't know, worth three, four, five thousand bucks, I mean, create it, right? Create it. You don't want to send something like this in a cardboard. You want to create it. Put a couple of uh, tri uh, plywood sheets or, 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 or thinner sheets if you don't want to use plywood. I mean, it would really take a lot of beating to break through. But uh, you can even put a couple of plywood sheets. You don't even have to create it. Maybe put a couple of plywood sheets and then put it in a box. That's an even great idea, okay? Uh, in, a, in, a, in a cardboard box. It doesn't have to be a wood crate car, you know, box. I've done that before. Very good. Very, muy bueno. Muy bueno, amigos. Okay? How do you like it? Isn't it cool? I think it's awesome. It's so simple. It's mysterious. <laughs> How simple it is. Mmm. So. That's that. What do you think? Put your, put your comments below, right? That is how you ship something. If I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna do, bear with me, okay guys? I sell online and, and I use different methods, right? To ship stuff. I'm gonna make some for you guys, just for you guys, the artists that are like, dude, I wanna sell my stuff. I wanna be able to ship it and know how to ship it. Don't worry, I'm here to help. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants to help, but you know what, Jose Trujillo artist, he's going to help. Why? I wish I had someone who helped me, you know, I wish I had someone who be like, Jose here, let me walk you, let me walk you through, let me help you, let me, oh, I still got some Starbucks left. Mm. Okay, now for the next one, the next packaging. It's going to be this one. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> but you know what, guys? I will leave that for another video. I'll show you right now. It's going to be like the other one, but it's going to be worth watching. It sure will. It sure will. Take care, guys. I will talk to you soon. Till next time. Bye-bye.